In this video, we're going to focus on the mesh rotation in 3JS, and this is a part of the 3JS tutorial. So this one will be a slightly tricky one because we're working basically with the 2D element of the circle. So let's start and explore this, and you will understand something what happens with a circle, with a circle, the moment it is 2D or basically a 2D object compared to a 3D object. All right. So what we want to do here is we want to start to rotate this. And rotation of a mesh is really wonderful and very useful as well to understand. And maybe you've seen this one here and you figured out, well, I understand it already. Well, let's start to look at a bit more deeper. So for example, here we have this item here. And maybe what we can do is we just put this away. Refresh. All right. So we have this here. And what I want to do is I want to rotate this circle here and this circle is a 2d element remember that you will see the difference compared to 3d element which has been rotated consistently all right to understand the rotation all we have to do basically it's here what we're going to do is we're going to grab the mesh and in this case we're going to grab the mesh of the circle so one more time what is a mesh a mesh consists of two things first of all it consists of a shape a geometry and secondly it consists of a material or fabric or color etc etc basically the uh, coloring of that shape so that's what we call a mesh so it's two items here all right so we have this in here and imagine we want to rotate this because we want to push this into a new position here how do we do this well simply this we're going to grab here the circle because it's already is assigned here as the constant of circle this mesh is called circle then we say dot and then we say rotation dot let's say x we can do rotation y and x and rotation z doesn't matter but let's say here and then say equals one all right so the reason i'm putting it here between is i want to put it between the add scene or the scene dot add add of course you can put it down here anywhere else it doesn't matter so much as long as you don't put it in the renderer or below the renderer and the reason why is the moment it renders it's basically like starting to draw the moment it has been drawn they will not anymore grab any other values or in, into consideration. This is very important. So it doesn't consider anything any, anymore, but it makes far more logical sense for a developer to put it, everything close within the same mesh structure. So the more close to each other, the more logical and easier to find everything. All right. So we're going to save this. But once we save it and we change this or refresh, we can see now what happens. It starts to rotate in a certain way basically here how it rotates or spins exactly the same as previously basically this is the x-axis so if we understand the x-axis it's starting from left to right meaning the spin must be or the rotation or the spin must be in a, a motion where the top goes forward coming closer to us while the back will go backward as you have that turning motion so this is very important. So remember here, imagine the x-axis would be like a barbecue uh, stick where we put in that circle in and eventually it starts to rotate. And the only way to rotate is in this motion here. If you would have on a, a y-axis, it will be from top to bottom and then it rotates differently from left to right, it will rotate. And of course, if you have the z-axis, you'll focus here. It goes here in the center, all to the back, and it will start to rotate uh, like this circle motion all right very important here to understand these differences but here you will see something interesting so imagine here you want to rotate this but you want to rotate this a 90 degree so how do you figure that one out you say well i'll just put it on two and let's see what happens if i do this it disappears the reality is it did not disappear the issue here is we're working with a 2d object what does it mean if it's a 2d object if it's a 2d object the background or basically the color at the very back of the object is nothing basically black because we didn't assign it anything the cube let's go back here is a 3d object meaning every face of the cube all these six squares the six squares faces are colored in the color of blue they have a have basically a, a material which is that but our circle rotation here, our circle mesh, is a 2D object. Remember here, you can see this is a 2D. There is no other value here, so it's 2D, and it doesn't have a color at the very back. So it, it doesn't draw any purple at the very back. So to see this, or to understand this, 
we let's look at pi because you're working with a formula so how will you know if you you have a rotation of 90 percent because you might, make, might ask how can i rotate this 90 percent well let's look at the pi so to understand this we're going to use a wonderful formula of pi and 2 times pi equals 360 degrees so how do you know if you have the certain degrees well we have to calculate that and how to calculate that is well basically starting at the zero point if we have here we'll say the following math dot pi for pi so p and i are capitalized so this is pi times 2 would be a full 100 360 degrees circle all right that's very important to remember so how much would be one pi so if we do this and we just have a console or let's refresh and open up a developer tab you can see now in here i'm going to remove the mobile view all right in here one pi is 3.141 plus 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 all right so i'm going to grab this here so if i'm going to rotate this i'm going to rotate this 180 degrees so if i save this here and now i refresh you can see here nothing happens the reason why nothing happens the background or basically the other side the back of the side is color black and i'm going to show you later on how we can see this all right so if you want to have a full motion basically two we need to multiply this by two so let's look at that what will be the number all right we're going to grab this i'm going to put this in here back now it starts to show again so what if you want to have only 90 percent and 90 degree, uh, or sorry a 90 degree angle well 90 degrees is basically 0 0.5 pi so if you save this we get this value here 1.5 plus 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 so i'm going to grab this and put it in here save this and now what happens is it will just move in exactly in such a way that you're not able to view it and also the background or the other side of the face the back of the circle is black so all right so we have this here you might say well how can i really know this sure let's copy this and let's use the rotation here and let's rotate it save this and i'm going to just only show one side because i don't want to have the y rotation i only want this rotation here save this and i'm going to rotate you can see here now it will start to spin and probably here right now as you can see now it starts to appear again because it stops spinning and with once it spins you can see here all right let's let's put this on zero i'm going to put it on zero and you will see it immediately the starting point is we can see it and once it's 90 degrees as you can see now it disappears it becomes black or transparent in this case completely not visible and you have to wait until it's fully uh flipped over 180 degrees and at that moment it starts to show again so this is the way how you can do 180 degrees 90 degrees etc etc so basically use the pi and we're going to grab all of this i'm going to just give you all these values so you have them very clearly written and understand how to do it so for example here this would be 25 would be equal to 45 degrees well i'm not sure this there will be cells here but degrees so you have this one here so this is 90 degrees this is 180 degrees this is uh 270 and this is 360 or full circle zero equals as well 360 because that's the starting point so the starting point would be but of course uh basically this and zero is same however you would say here times zero would be the same remember here the starting point would be relative to this here if we have here a different starting point that will be the starting point of the spinning so let's say here let's make this uh we can just grab this and just put it in here then i'm going to comment out this save this you can see here now the starting point is 95 45 degrees of the angle and that's how it works so this is really important to understand in case it's necessary to understand and also understand because we're working with a circle to the element same story here if you would like to change this for the q same story here we're going to say here and then we say q rotation and as you can see now our cube has been shifted and we can even shift this even more if you want to 
moving different angles in any other direction. Let's put this as well. And there we are. So now we get this very unique spin on our cube.